Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be taking a 8x8 wooden picture frame and using it to dip into all this paint that I had left over from a video I just did a little while ago. It's a lot of paint and I didn't want to waste it. And since I don't save skins because I don't do jewelry, I figured I had this little frame that's been sitting here for like a year and I've never done anything with it. So I'm going to use this. What I've done, I left a little paper in here that was in the packaging, and that's in hopes of maybe not making such a huge mess all over the place. I have put a base of white paint on the frame in hopes that it will help move the paint around when I dip. I've never dipped a wooden frame before, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but to me it was worth it rather than just throw out all this beautiful paint right here. I have my frame propped up on my painting pyramids, in case you guys were wondering. I couldn't put any thumbtacks under this like I usually do. I can't push them in the wood. Hard enough time getting them in the back of a canvas. So let's begin. I've really only done a dip maybe twice, so I'm not really that good with it. So I'm just dipping this in here, pushing it into the paint, and then I'm gonna lift it off and see what I get. Ooh, that's kind of cool. So let's do the other side. I see I've lost some of my paint where it hit the doggy pad that I use. <laughs> so let's try this over here. Just push it in and pull it up. I don't think I pushed that hard enough. Try that again. Mm, I missed some spots there, but I probably am just going to fill that in with something. Let's take this last part and put it in over here where we have a lot of orange. Hmm, there's some cool cells going on here, but I want more paint in here. Let's try dipping that again. I'm afraid I'm gonna get mud here. This actually looks like a cool Halloween frame, the colors. It probably would have been better if I had the paint all in one spot. Ooh, that looks cool. I'm just gonna take my finger, pinch up some of these areas. This white here is the white on the background, so I'm gonna leave that there kind of looks like some little flames coming up. That's kind of cool. So what I'm doing is just dipping my finger in and trying to get some really colorful paint and put it around the edges here. I originally bought this to do like a flip cup on it or maybe a ribbon pour, but it ended up getting used for something different today. So I have filled in that inner lip and I guess that paper is gonna end up coming out anyway my pyramids back in place so I can prop this here and you guys can see what it looks like actually I should have done this because it's easier to put the paint in here up on these pyramids there's a tip you just learned from me have it propped up when you're filling it in it makes it much easier okay so I think I made pretty good use of leftover paint and I got a cool looking frame out of it it really looks fiery. I want you guys to stay tuned for close-ups on this and I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I put out videos every Monday and Thursday and if you really enjoyed this, please click the like button and I'll see you next time. Bye!